So hopefully Saturday I'll find out how much honey will be derived from six partial frames of honey. And here in the mudroom is where we I set up the extractor. Now I'm, I'm not even going to make a video on how to put this together because it's super easy. I haven't tightened up all the all the nuts and bolts yet, but this is going to be really slick, I think. And I have the, the honey gate on and everything. Again, just keep in mind with everything I'm doing, this is my first year. I've learned a ton, but I'm still learning a lot. Most people would probably say that you don't get a harvest your first year. Um, but I'm harvesting some, so just bear that in mind. <laughs> but here's my setup. So I brought the extractor inside. I've got a strainer and a bucket. My honey gates did not arrive in the mail like I had hoped today. So I think we're just going to go ahead and strain directly into a five gallon bucket. And I've got my stainless steel frame rack here from Dr. Leo to decap, decapping frame, to decap the honey on with my decapping tool. And I have a bread knife in case that's easier. And in here are the frames I'm going to be working on. And then I'm going to, my plan is to set them up against the grinder on here after they're done, I think is what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> so this one just has a tiny bit of capped honey. There's a little hive beetle there. And a lot of wet nectar, I think is what um, Monty called it. So I think he left a lot of the frames that looked like this. So maybe I'm actually going to put this one back in the Freedom Hive and they can cap that for the winter if they want it. And this is frame number two, just some wet nectar. <coughs> they built some beautiful comb on here. So we'll see. I don't know very much about the humidity levels with honey and nectar and wet nectar and if that's a concern with storage, but anyway, that's, that's a lack of knowledge on my part. And here's our first one to be cat. All right, Pro, you ready? Now, I'm actually not quite sure what to do with the capping. If I just, if I, I'm guessing I just give it back to the bees and I'm, maybe I could make beeswax out of it if I wanted to. But it does look at that. You wanna try Pro? You might need a stool, this is kind of high. Oh, yeah. Get those caps oh, this is so exciting! Okay, just try not to be like jabbing. Do it just kind of go as shallow as you can. Just scrape it off. Yeah, there you go.
say you have to kind of push it in. Okay, so I'm all done. My extracted frames are over here. And there's still money in there! So I'm going to prop up the back legs to put it at an angle. And look, you can see my slippers in the reflection. And then we're going to open the honey gate. This is the result with the cappings. I think I'm just going to give all this back to the bees. I don't plan to do anything with beeswax this year. And I'll try to get as much honey off the tray as I can. So I don't have a honey gate on here yet. It didn't arrive, but and I ordered it really late. So I'm still going to strain the honey directly into this five gallon bucket. That seems a lot less sketchy than trying to strain it into a funnel. And then I'll just plan on using a spatula to get out as much as I can. I brought some books to prop up the back leg. So uh, two of my favorites, uh, The Hobbit and Hind's Feet on High Places are are uh, taking one for the team. <laughs> and here is the honey about ready to be strained. So ready? Yes! Can I, can I open it? No, yes. I got it. Lefty Lucy. I might have to close it so it doesn't make a mess. Look, there's a spider in there. Yeah, there's going to be some, a couple bugs. Oh, I see that. It's spreading. Oh, it's a spider. I can't believe it. You know what? I think we're just gonna let gravity get most of it out and we'll just put this outside and let the bees get the rest of it back. That is so cool. Yeah, cool. Time for Princess and the Goblin to help. Hey, Olivia, when I lift this up, can you slide this book under? Whoa! Oh, did I mess something up? No. I'm trying to steal oh. our honey. Careful. Oh, I don't think they steal the honey. Well, there's five on Robbie. Six! What? Five beetles. So I'm very glad we did this inside, but we still have a few guests that I will happily release tomorrow. And it looks like we've got about a gallon. So this came from six frames that were pretty well full. So we'll let this rest tonight. Jared got me a lid and then tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll put it in some jars. Give all this stuff back, the frames and the extractor and the strainer to the bees to Recycle the honey.